No, we're not having a party for that. That's not something you celebrate. Football is back, right? Everyone loves football, the sports games with the points and the running and holding the ball. Personally, no, I don't root for a team. Don't really. I'm not that invested in the game, nor do I actually understand it. But from what I understand, there's one ball and a bunch of folks have to fight over it and take it to their home, their respective home of the ball. That That's my understanding of it. And there's a lot of hitting. Steve Weiner here from GetRebix.com, and today we're going to keep going in our Intune versus Entra Identity series. And this is kind of the continuation of, you know, the video the other day uh, where I showed you how to use the graph to find attributes of each identity. Now we're going to put that into a solution and use the Intune device info to find which devices have a certain Entra attribute. I think I said that right. We're going to put it into a solution. And then it's kind of fun. These the, the guys in the striped shirts, they shoot these little yellow balloon things out there. If someone hits another guy too hard, that's always my it's like my favorite part. Get Rubik's solving for the modern workplace. OK, so for today, what I'm going to try to do is group my Intune managed devices by their autopilot group tag. And things do get confusing because if I click on enrollment here and I go to devices, Yes, I can see their group tags here, but these group tags are coming from an entry attribute, right? So if I wanted to just look at Intune to find that, I'll go to Intune. You can see my devices. There's really nowhere to see that, you know, value. If I go to hardware, there is no group tag uh, attribute. That's an entry attribute. Uh, even if I go to columns, right, we're not going to see uh, autopilot group tag or, or anything like that. You'll see scope tag, but that's not what we want here. So basically I want to group them all. And how I'm going to do that is we're going to go back to the graph and going through our attributes. So I'm going to first connect to MG graph. I should still be logged in, which is good. Okay. So here's the plan. We're going to get all into windows devices. Then we're going to say for each windows, windows device, going to get the Entra device ID and find the Entra object. Remember, those are two different IDs. Then I'm going to get their, get their group tag, AKA the physical device ID. That's what it's called in Entra. And I'm just going to say if if group tag is M365, re report, let's just do this report if tag is M365 or not, because I'm looking for my M365 tag. All right. So first of all, get all in tune Windows devices. So we're going to do an invoke. Actually, here, let's do Intune devices. Let's call it Intune PCs. We're going to say that equals invoke MG graph request. Method is a get. URI is HTTPS graph.microsoft.com slash beta slash device management managed devices and we got to do the filter remember we have to put that tick in front of the dollar sign that's the tilde key with a shift the thing next to the one uh, filter equals contains operating system okay and remember we're gonna the reason we have the parentheses is so we can get the value of those because if i don't get the value i'm just going to end up with a hash table so let me show you that first actually so you know what we're talking about. So let's go ahead and invoke that first line. Actually, we can invoke the whole thing. It's all commented out. All right. So I'm going to call Intune PCs. And you see, it just returns 29 objects inside of a table. So the reason we do this is to break them out. So I'm going to put it in parentheses dot value. By doing that, I'm going to call the same attribute, same variable, but now I'm getting it's iter it's iterating through all my my Windows devices for me. Okay, 
So for each Windows device, get the Entra ID. So because it says for each, we need the for each loop. So for each, we'll say PC in Intune PCs. Let's uh, get the Entra ID. So we'll say Entra device ID is equal to the current PC. Uh, let's look for that attribute again. So if I just run that back. So we are looking for Azure AD device ID. Remember what we said yesterday, that that's the glue that'll tie us to the uh, Entra object ID. So that's what we want. We want the Azure AD device ID. So I would say that is PC Azure AD device ID. And that should return that for us. So now we're going to say the Entra object is equal to so we're going to look for an Entra object with that ID. So we are going to do again, invoke MG graph request. We're going to get, and the URI Remember, it's a little bit different this time. Um, the endpoint for Entra devices is just devices. So within tune, you know, it's device management. This time it's just devices. That's like going to Entra. So devices, we're going to do the same filter. Filter is, and this one's a little different. It's uh, device ID is equal to Entra device ID. And we can double check that. So if we go to the graph explorer, Switch that to beta, oh. and we'll just go to devices. So we are looking for the device ID. So we want the device ID. So just to test this here, test what our filter should be. This is nice because you always test the filter. So filter equals, we want device ID is equal to that. Let's see if that returns the one device. And it does, perfect. All right, that could always be a little aggravating trying to figure out the different filters when doing this stuff, but such is the graph. So that is right. And we're going to do the same thing to this. We're going to put it in parentheses and do dot value. Okay. And to get the physical IDs, you can see we just have dot. It'll just be physical IDs. And these are all the group tags. So it'll be group tags equals intra object dot physical IDs. So now what we'll say, so we've all, we actually here, let's put this in order. We got that for each, get their group tag, try to order these comments. And now we'll do that report. If, group tags contains M contains order ID M365 because that's the actual tag. I'll show you real quick how they work. You can see they look like that. So we'd want to get that whole string, but it's an array. So we have to see if it's contained. It's going to have other physical IDs as well. So if it contains that, we are going to say, um, you know what? Let's get our device name too. So what is the piece, uh, Intune PCs? Is it just display name? I want to get the name. So it's very clear to read. It should just be device name. I think, yeah, device name is the host. So we're going to say device name equals PC dot device name device name has the M365 group tag else 
Right output. Device name does not have the M365 group tag. And of course, I mean, I'm just reporting on it. You can build other solutions from this, but let's run it. So let's clear this out and let's run it. And look at that. This device has it. This device has it. This device does not have it. And just to see if this is accurate, let's pick this specific device and look it up. So it says it does not have the M365 group tag. So if I go to device management, managed devices, let's do a filter where the device name equals, did we get it? Let's see. Yep, it got it. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll find the Azure Directory device ID. We're kind of doing this manually. So now we're doing where the devices filter equals device ID equals that. This is the enter attribute. And if we go look here, I do not see the M365 tag. So this is accurate. It's giving me real reporting and we can push this just to the Intune devices, right? Um, and it'll, we could correlate their entry information. So this is just an example of how these two work together. All right. So there we go. We were able to take Intune devices, uh, just with the Intune device info, use the graph to get their entry ID and then get the entry ID object to find the physical ID attribute, which is the group tag. So we're able to find which Intune devices has which, have which group tag by correlating the ID. So it's always good when we can take something and put it into a real solution. Let me know if you find that helpful. Let me know if there's other things you'd like to see solutions on. Um, yeah, that's all. We'll be seeing you.